Hi my beautiful Taurus souls, welcome to your reading for the month of May. So happy birthday to you guys. Finally, Taurus season is almost here or is here, depends on when you're watching this reading. Um, I'm so ready for you guys this season. Like I, I love, I love a Taurus, the Taurus energy, I really do. So your birthday, I hope you guys have an amazing birthday this year. I hope you feel loved, I hope you will feel blessed, I hope you are excited to just celebrate life, right? And celebrate who you truly are, what you stand for, and just your life on earth, you know? And I don't think there should be a lot of social pressure when it comes to your birthday this year. It should be about you enjoying your day, however you feel the most comfortable whether it's with a small group whether that's with one person or a really big party uh, maybe you want to go to the beach maybe you just want to have a quiet day at the spa do whatever feels good to your soul because it's your day Taurus. so there's no social pressure when it comes to your birthday just celebrate your life in the way you feel most comfortable okay it's all about that so um, if you want to, you can leave your birthday in the comment section. So um, I'm going to try and wish all of you guys a happy birthday personally, if you decide to do it. And what's really fun is that you have a chance to find your birthday twin. Okay, that's really nice. Aries were like really into it. It was like all kinds of twins popping up everywhere. <laughs> but it was really nice to see. So of course, I want to give you guys the opportunity to do the same. Um... Right now, let's just get to your reading because I was meditating on your energy. And of course, it has a lot to do with your birthday coming up. And, you know, I feel like there's like this important decision you've kind of been putting off and um, something you want to start or something you really want to change or a pathway you want to go on. Maybe it's more of like a soul's journey or an actual physical journey you want to take in, in the summer months. And I'm seeing you taking the leap of faith and you just are sort of in this waiting period of you know seeing the pros and cons and um i just think once you jump in it's really for you for you and the person you have grown to become and the souls um souls level you're on right now right after you learn a lot through life you go through certain lessons and then you reach a certain level where you have to sort of take a leap of faith on yourself and um, making a decision that really celebrates who you are, right? Um, I see you guys receiving a blessing in during your own season, whether you're sun, moon, or rising. I feel if you're moon or rising, Taurus, you can also really feel the energy because it's in your chart, right? Um, I see you guys receiving a blessing which can come through, of course, to a physical, actual gift given to you. But I also see for a part of you, it's sort of um, a push of energy or it's like um, a job opportunity or um, a certain person you meet. It's like really like a small gift or it's a blessing from the universe, basically, because you've been doing the inner work, Taurus. I've seen a lot of Taurus um, and the energy as well. It's like really evolving these last couple months, especially during the winter really coming more in alignment with okay where am i where am i going what am i doing and i'm taking some time out to, to spend time with myself and see what i want you know, out of life and what i want out of a relationship or a job you know opportunity so that's very beautiful tourist very very beautiful so spend some time alone a couple of days before your birthday if you're a sun tourist and spend some time um just really go over that what do, what do you want to you know um what kind of goals you want to set for this year to come and just spend some time alone just so you can really come into alignment before your birthday comes it really helps really does help also um know that your luck is up two weeks before your birthday you know the, the two weeks coming up to your birthday those two weeks are often like your most lucky weeks um, uh, of the year so Maybe something good to know. I don't know. <laughs> we have a card. Oh, wow. That is beautiful, Taurus. Blossoming as a beautiful flower. You are just getting started. Have, so have patience with yourself and the process. Process, sorry. And do not give up. 
so gorgeous. And you guys are like the spring childs, right? The spring souls of the zodiac. It's so gorgeous how you are blossoming into this evolved version of yourself. And I, I feel that strongly for the feminine Taurus collective, also for masculine, but in a different way. But for feminine, I see you guys growing and blossoming, basically, and coming way too more in alignment with, with what your true self is and what you are here to do, right? But it's, it's so pa it's so beautiful, but please be patient with yourself. The universe is asking you, your angels are asking you, please be patient and do not give up because you are on the right track and you're just getting started. So don't, um, you know, be too hard on yourself because what you're doing over here is so beautiful, you know? And it's like when we plant a seed, we don't instantly have a beautiful flower out of the dirt. We don't. We have to water it, we have to be patient. We know it's gonna come, we just don't know exactly which day. Because I found that, you know, we had the Sherry Blossom Street, right? In the springtime, well, at least we do here. <laughs> and you never really know when they're gonna come. Sometimes they're like two weeks later than the year before or two weeks early. And this year it came early, like really early. And I was surprised by it. I was like, I came outside and overnight, like it just blossomed like that. And so beautiful. And I knew it was coming. I just didn't know when. And that's a little bit part of your journey right now. You know, certain things are coming. You know, you're putting in the work. You have been putting in the work and your payout is coming, but you're not questioning it. And if you are, then it's literally a question like, don't question your growth. It's a process. It's a journey. It's a step by step by step. You know, it's don't question um, your destination. It's beautiful. You're on the right track. So don't be too hard on yourself, Taurus. Okay. Wow, beautiful energy coming through. I love it already. Okay, let's see, Taurus, what, what the month of May has in store for you. Taurus, wow, beautiful. Learning to disconnect from all the limitations you can put on yourself, on the situation, on a job, like how something is supposed to be, what it's supposed to be, how it's supposed to look, how it's supposed to play out. Just really taking a leap of faith, definitely. Like I already got it during your meditation. But also feeling very freely in it. Let me see. Yes, oh my God, beautiful. Taurus, the Empress energy. I love this for you guys because this is such a beautiful card for my Earth signs. We have the beautiful Empress. Let's see what's coming up. Who comes through in their own reading this month? Who comes through with the Death card? And the beautiful song card. It is you. Okay, now. <laughs> oh my God, Taurus. That is amazing. That's so powerful. Coming through in the upright. In your own season. Very powerful. You're going through a beautiful transformation. The Scorpio card comes through as well. It's... You're letting a situation come to an end. Some of you guys, and that's Taurus, some of my feminine energies, I feel. Um, you have been sort of, it's not for everybody, but it's, it is coming through strongly. So I have to let you guys know. It's about giving birth, you know, like getting pregnant or having a child, becoming a mother, becoming a parent, basically. Um, you've been putting on a lot of weight on that a lot of expectations a lot of just a lot of weight towards it and i feel that you are coming into a period of time where you have still have that goal you or well you have that dream you want to become a parent yet you're willing to let the universe bring it to you in divine timing so you don't really try to put too much you know, boxes around it, like it has to come like this or it has to happen like that or it has to happen now, I'm running out of time. 
I feel you're you're sort of going through a transformation, a period of a moment actually, where you feel I have to stop doing this to myself because it makes me very unhappy. You know, it just makes me question everything. And I see you going through a transformation this month, or you may just have already gone through it, and it it, it gives you so much more more rest and peace and feeling way much um you know um in your own power again like the sun comes out with that so that's for some of you let's get more general again if you're dealing with a scorpio yeah if you're dealing with a scorpio this might be a month where he or she surprises you yeah okay i'm gonna go with these cards a lot of cards but still it's your birthday so whatever <laughs> okay yes this came out so aries energy maybe you have been thinking about reconciling with somebody from the past during you know maybe it's just energy because we're still like in aries energy still lingering here <laughs> um Maybe you're thinking about reconciling with a Aries person with an emperor energy, yet that's something that already has passed, right? It's something you already have been thinking about, but you're taking a way lighter approach towards it. You also are really trying to overcome conversations with yourself. Because Taurus is not, not for no reason that this comes out the way it does. It's like the Five of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. You're cutting a person out of your life. Or you're cutting out a, a, a relationship or a way of a relationship with yourself. It's like, I'm so done with being so hard on myself that I have no room to breathe. Putting all these expectations on my life, on my on my family, on my on myself, and how I'm supposed to show up. I'm done. I'm just done with trying to 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 be something that just doesn't come naturally to me. Because I feel that's what I have to embody. I'm, I just want to be the most pure and, and, and real version of myself, which when I wake up, I feel content. When I wake up, I feel self-confident. I have trust, I have faith in whatever is coming up. You are just done with feeling that way about yourself or maybe about a person in your life. It's like, it's you know, it's because it's general and reading for a lot of Taurus energy, but that's like the collective energy that's coming true. You're sick and tired of feeling sick and tired of, like left out in the cold basically you're done with anything that's just not solid that just not shows up as like a point of growth basically so what i'm getting is that you're using the sword this month to really cut out old ways old beliefs or a person see true colors are being showed when it comes to may may is a month where you are getting to truth basically Taurus. you're getting the truth of the pure nature of people um it's like you expect expect something from somebody and they just don't know how to deliver on that and i think if you are i'm sorry if the, if the if you get an opportunity right if you are are uh, if people are showing them true selves this month towards you know that that is divinely guided because they want you to put yourself first they want you to begin fresh start new this is a new cycle is your new 12 month cycle tour is coming up and um, they just want you to focus on what you got going for yourself. 
because you got beautiful energy coming through yet there's this this underlining energy that has been playing out um of people having a position in your life that can just make you feel left out in the cold and you're just really over that and what happens once you decide to okay you know what um i'm no longer gonna do this i want to get to this part i want to get to like a feel good feel better feel on my element um let 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 everything just show up okay because there's major cycles ending for you taurus but in the most beautiful blossoming way okay then remember you're out there doing it it might feel uncomfortable but don't be too hard on yourself and don't question it and don't give up because it's coming in and i see that with the death card it's like it's sometimes it's it's not always as comfortable yet it's the one of the most beautiful transformations that coming out with the ace of swords is really telling me is that you're picking up the sword and you feel divinely guided to do it it's almost like the angels are behind you it's like listen tell them this tell them that put it like that put it like that. and you're like okay thanks <laughs> you know now i'm going out there with my sword and cut out the things beliefs and people uh, situation job opportunities all of that that's just not not resonating with you or that can just you know play with your feelings and emotions i do really feel there's some self-sabotaging that was going on and you're very clear about it about it like you got a clear vision and you're reclaiming your own personal power with the beautiful empress card I know that things are going to play out beautiful for you, Taurus. Believe that. Trust that. Because if you're willing to make the changes and jump into the unknown, into the, I don't know what's up next, but yet I feel guided to take the leap. I feel guided to end the situation because this situation is also not making me that much happier or making me feel that loved. You know, so I'm willing to let it go, even though I don't know what's up next, but it can get that much worse as it was, right? And that comes out such a beautiful, beautiful connection. See you having conversations with people from the past you haven't talked to for a very long time. It could even be people you know from when you were like teenagers or you know from your childhood basically and it's very important that that happens it's very divinely guided those connections and maybe some see that is it i knew it i knew it i just knew it <laughs> you see the ten of cups and the king of cups okay and that's happy that's good feels so, what happens when you take that position of power? This happens, okay? Balance of the scales. I see... This is so beautiful, Taurus. I can't. Like, the Ten of Cups coming through for you after this, after what I just said, you know, like, going through it, even though you don't know what's coming up, you just want to leave this energy behind. Oh, I'm sorry, I need this one. This energy. This energy. And we often do that. That's so human to do. It's like, yeah, I don't know what else is out there for me. And I just, I know I'm unhappy in this situation, but it's also sort of my safe zone. Like, I know what I got with this job or I know what I get with, with this relationship. But are you willing to jump into the unknown to 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 have something that is truly in alignment with you you know and 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 bump into somebody like having an open heart open energy for somebody who really really likes you like that's coming up for you you know it's it's like the whole rainbow blessings okay it's like a, a door is opening it's like the gate is opening there you go taurus here's your blessing <laughs> there you go because you're willing to take a chance on yourself right you're willing to take it to make a shift and make a change and that's not always easy for for you guys it's just not because 
um, you just feel very uncomfy with not not knowing what is up next, like what's coming up, what what will happen when I do this, what will happen when I leave that job, or will I find something else? And what's so beautiful is that you are actually just doing it. Somebody can actually surprise you this month as well. It's like you're expecting this, you know, the, the Knight of, of Cups. And then you get the King. So it's, it's like, it's more than you expect. This whole month is like a surprise, surprise party. I really feel that. So for you guys, because there is this surprise element, you know, it's, you're feeling a certain way and bum, there you got a 10 of cups, you know, it's like you, you have a, a sort of a little bit of an ending and there you go, you feel a lot lighter and the sun starts to shine. It's like, it's, it's that ripple effect, you know, it's for example, when you have a, like a big ball of water right, or a bath, bathtub of water, and it's completely still, and you put in one drop, one little drop of water, and it starts to ripple and ripple and ripple, and has effect on an entire bathtub at one point, or an entire, you know, top of water. And that's sort of what you're doing, you feel like that little small shift may not be the biggest thing, yet it has effect on the rest, you know, you might think that 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 feeling left on cold and focusing on things that went wrong in the past don't have that huge amount of effect on your life, but it does. The negative thinking, the over the overthinking, the stressing, the um, feeling feels of lack of I'm not having this anymore. Could have had that, never did, or you know something like that. That has major effect. On the entire bath of the top of your like <laughs> that's like your life, right? So also positive thinking, positive ways um, has the same effect. You know, you decide what type of water you you drop into that bathtub. And I see you with this, this just starting off with just a lighter energy and, and, and breaking off some limitations around certain things, belief systems. I feel it's a lot of things you just believe that to be true, but they're never really proven. And just this is your drop. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm taking a different approach from now on and I'll see what happens and you're going to see what happens. Beautiful, Taurus. Don't be afraid, because it's going to be beautiful. Don't be afraid, because many, many, many auditors are in the same boat, and you all, all of you are doing it, and you're strengthening each other. You all of you are going through something similar at the moment. In all, you, of course, you know, plays out differently for everybody, but... Connect with each other this month. Connect with Taurus energy, with other Taurus. I don't know if you know how many other Tauruses, but they can might you know bring. You guys can really help each other as a collective this month. So maybe in the comment section, have come some conversation with each other, and because um, nobody else understands you as well as another Taurus. So it's beautiful. Just keep going and find that soul's pathway to walk and also your soul tribe like find some similar souls to connect to whether they live on the other side of the world you can have like a group together you know where you connect where you um just just different type of people that are on a similar journey as you you know that inspire you to to go on to move forward to keep blossoming you're doing so well Taurus. i'm so proud of you guys i really am so, of course, it's your birthday, so let's do a pick a card reading at the end. I'm sorry, that was really loud, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to do the Work Your Light Oracle deck. Oh, okay now. 
because it's it's such a beautiful deck let me see I got three cards out one more shuffle after this yes okay one two and three Focus on the cards, take your time. If you need a little bit more time, ask your question or just open up your energy. Um, we're gonna get started with the first card. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> this is such a beautiful card, because look, of the earth, and you guys already heard signs. Look how beautiful this card is. Okay, keepers of the earth, you are not alone, okay? Every single soul that listens to this, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. You are very, very guided. That's also because judgment card came out and I just saw that energy. It's like, okay, I'm going to tell you what to do. Now follow that halfway because I'm bringing you to, some, to, the, to the better part. Okay, to the good part. <laughs> That's so beautiful. Okay, card number two, protection. It's all you see that's all like this whole tribe energy call back your power cut the cords soul retrieval it's time for your soul to guide you this year at least give yourself the shot to do it for 12 months what is 12 months basically on an entire lifetime give your soul some space to guide you this year think that can really bring a lot you know a lot towards you okay Call back your power and cut the cords. Definitely came true in your reading as well. So whatever that feels that means towards you, call back your power. Soul retrieval. Card number three. I love this. So beautiful. Okay. Double mission. Channeling and uplifting humanity. That might be a part of your halfway right now it's about you are starting to send out a different type of energy Taurus and people around you pick up on it it's like you are channeling and uplifting humanity giving them a different you know point of view in things you have a very important uh, mission as a Taurus so so it's such a beautiful card to get okay so Enjoy your birthday, okay? Like I said, leave your birthday down in below. Um, if you want to, feel free. I love, to, I love it though if you guys share your birthday because it's you know it's just a nice, a nice energy. Um, thank you so much, Taurus. I'm going to make some changes to the channel soon. I'll I'll start uploading more videos a month, okay? <laughs> Which I'm really excited about. Um, currently still dealing with a health issue. Uh, I have next, um, you know, treatment planned on Wednesday. I'm going to recover from it, and hopefully, I will be able to start uploading um, the amount that I really want to. So, stay tuned for that. Uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel and you feel connected to the readings, then. Uh, consider subscribing of course i would love to have you here with the soul fam and uh, i'll see you guys soon i'll just be back soon and enjoy yourself okay it's your birthday <laughs> bye Doris. i love you bye